Obama unveiled his proposed budget for 2012, and it is heavy on deficit reduction. He calls it a responsible plan, but Republicans are calling it a Valentine's Day card that America doesn't want. CBS 2's Don Daler explains what it means for you. Hot off the press, the 2012 budget. The $3.7 trillion plan is chock full of cuts to almost every part of the federal government. Ultimately, this pain is going to be very broadly spread, particularly if we're looking at the levels in the budget that ultimately passes that are being talked about right now in the Republican caucus in the House. To cut the deficit by $1.1 trillion over the next 10 years, the president proposes a five-year freeze on discretionary spending, excluding national security. But it does beef up security for our area, including funds for the Secure the Cities program, which detects radiological dirty bombs. This is a victory for the people of New York, also in areas like transit security and port security, and overall grants for uh, police departments. The uh, president seems to have done the right thing. What the Republicans don't like in the president's proposal is an increase in spending on education, including training for math and science teachers. But it also cuts $100 billion from federal college loans and Pell Grants, slashes $80 billion from the Pentagon's budget, and reduces funds for programs that help the poor buy heating oil and community block grants. In all fairness, the president, he fought very hard to keep that cut smaller by a lot than what it was going to be. So for that, we're thankful. It will mean cutting things uh, that I care deeply about. But if we're going to walk the walk when it comes to fiscal discipline, these kinds of cuts will be necessary. But the cuts might not be over. The president and House Republicans are far apart and trying to forge a compromise budget. That next trip might cost a little more for you under this budget. The passenger facility charge would rise from $4.50 per flight to $7 in order to offset cuts in airport grants. The airlines say that would amount to a $2 billion tax increase on the flying public. Christine. Don, thanks. The book industry 